Hey everybody and welcome to this week's edition of Steve's Hat Picks. Are you excited? I know I'm excited. Your friends are excited. Sorry, it's the shirt. Every week I do Steve's Hat Picks. It's a hat trick of plays that I thought were amazing. Sometimes it's not always a single play. Sometimes an accomplishment is what's amazing. And that's definitely what the first one is. Here's Patrick Line with his five goal, five goal, five goal, five goal, five goal, Booker T game. It's a high five for Patrick Laine. What a show by the Finn. Making it look easy. My goodness. Here's one. Jet center. They score. Line from the slot. Here's two. The Line scores. Patrick Laine. What a perfect shot. Second of the night. Here's a third one for you. Hat trick. Connor to Line. And he scores. And a hat trick for Line. Here's a fourth one for you. Hit him with the four. Line scores. Patrick Line, number four. And here's number five. I guess he's better. It's been the Patrick Line show tonight with a five goal outing. Here's a little bit of trivia for you. The last person to score five goals before Patrick Line, Johan Franzen. I know, I wouldn't have picked him either. Five goals in one game, as Jets fans I'm sure will let you know, is more than four, and it is absolutely worthy of being in this week's edition of Steve's Hat Picks. Number two. Seems like everything's downhill after a five goal game, doesn't it? But I don't think so. This is another Finn doing work. Rasmus Ristolainen with the snipe and the sell. Ristolainen on this side of the ice against Burns. Nice move to the net, he scores! What a goal by Rasmus Ristolainen! The big defenseman Rasmus Ristolainen with the move taken out Brent Burns in the process, scoring, and of course Rick Jenneret with the beauty call. What a move by Ristolainen! And then, I, I, I don't know if I want to do that celebration in Brent Burns' face. I don't know. This is a left-handed stick. I can't do it. I'm not left-handed. There you go. I don't know if this was meant to be done with a wooden stick. Kind of surprising nothing happened after that one. And I should probably mention Jeff Skinner gets the OT winner in this one, giving the Sabres 10 straight wins. I think my favorite thing about the Sabres resurgence is we're getting to hear Rick Jenneret excited again. You asked for it. You got it. These guys are good. Scary good. A little difficult when you're always in the lottery conversation. But it's amazing how things change when you win the lottery. Rasmus Dahlin gets in the lineup. You add Jeff Skinner in a trade. And all of a sudden, the Sabres are rattling. More than deserving of being in this week's edition of Hat Picks. Number three, I, I gotta get changed, actually. Brian, five or six, if you don't know him, get to know him. Matt Duchesne, absurdity. Winds his way in, Matt Duchesne in, fires, it goes off a leg, you don't score! Oh, what a play by Duchesne to bat it by Stolarz! This goal is even more amazing in context. The Flyers, they just fired their GM, Ron Hextall. Their next game is against Ottawa, and it's in Philadelphia. But they got a 3-1 lead in the third. The fans are rocking. Gritty's rocking. The Sens want to come back. Brady Kachuk pots a pair, and the place goes silent. And then Matt Duchesne does this. Bats it out of the air! That's unbelievable. I mean, that contact and how much he got on that shot is incredible. I love the celebration after because it's either a defiant, yes, I meant to do that, or he can't believe that he did that. I know Anthony Stolarz can't believe he did that, and I'm sure the Flyers can't believe he did that because the day after they fired two assistant general managers as well. It's amazing what you can do with just one goal, especially when that one goal is amazing. More than deserving of a hat pick in this one. I, I'm sure Brian agrees. So what do you think? Did we get the hat picks right this week? I mean, how are you gonna argue with a five goal game and you'd be hard pressed to find two better goals than what Ristolainen and Duchesne scored. But, of course, there's a comment box down below. Let me know. So that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends five times. It's the new trend. <laughs>